Alright, hey everyone, this is Sebastian SB, and I'm here with Wanderbot. We're playing Cradle, and Wanderbot's joining me over the, uh, the stream live, the, uh, Steam live streaming service, so we'll see how this goes. We're doing co-commentary on a single-player game. I'm sure to go great. So this is Cradle, some kind of futuristic game re that takes place in, I believe, in a Slavic nation or something in that region. And, uh, it has AI, it has carnivals, and cooking. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be a really great time. Okay, so we're we're playing. Uh, uh, shoot, what's the what's the sniper game? Uh, sh uh Shadow of Pripyat. Uh, Cooking Mama of Pripyat. If I knew, you nailed it. Yeah, if I knew that's Russian, why, that's why they pay you the big bucks. Yes, yeah, the best. Um. <laughs> so so, game, give me a game breakdown here. Some pretty How much cooking times. are we doing? Because I I I know um, nothing about Russian cooking, and I would like to know. Uh, just how many potatoes you put into all of their food? Well, I tried to play this yesterday, so I've got a bit. I've got a bit of perspective on how to do the cooking now. Okay. Oop. Hello, light. Come to me. I want you. So we have a tutorial here. Interestingly, you can click on stuff to read it, <laughs> which is a little redundant here, but probably makes way more sense for the actual game. Basic controls. This part. Well, I was having so much trouble. Uh, crouching the other day in the other game is because I was like, well, this game is crouching this way. But yeah, I can click on stuff to have a pop-up yep. about all the text on the screen. Which probably makes sense, because this game's probably localized in a bunch of languages. And that's their way of only having one language for the, like, textures, but multiple languages for the translations. Hey, QB. I'm loving the environment design so far. Like, it's not... Oh, yeah. Like, I yeah saw this that... is not what the game looks like. Oh, really? This is... As far as I know, as far as I've seen so far, the game does not look like this. This is a weird abstract tutorial where they're telling you how to pick up objects and do That's... this. Oh, hey, yeah. Rubik's Cube. Oh. Wait, you can throw it? Yeah, you they just want to make sure you can do basic controls. <laughs> you can also press okay. tab to get clues. Oh, you are that's actually kind of nice. Our story begins here. While sleeping, you see a strange and troubled dream. Follow the instructions to wake up. Go towards the light. So I could have had that come up at any point. But yeah. hey, it's the Oculus Rift in an old-timey radio. Well, with a screen, so maybe not so old-timey. That is... It's sort of old-timey. It's kind of like if you took, uh... If you took it's something from, face. like, the 80s. Ah. And then... Oh, is this, like... It is almost like the past... Like the past version of the future, huh? <laughs> yeah, kind of like, um, Fallout like style. Like Tron future. Yeah, that too. Let's try hitting, let's try hitting tab. I that think I'm like makes two me seconds on behind it. you, maybe three. That's not so bad. Uh. Transition. Shh. Welcome to Cradle, everyone. I, thus far, I understand nothing, but that's okay. There's a woman in her eyes. She sees things. I don't know, it just reminds me of, uh, what, Borderlands? With the weird woman that shows up that's, like, just a live-action woman that, like, it's like, You are the chosen yeah. one, you must say things. It was always so Hunter. weird. Like, I, I... It was completely out of place with the game. Yeah, especially when you, like, finally figure out what she is, and it's just like, that... Hmm. <laughs> I mean, storytelling in Borderlands. Yeah, hey. That's true. They had decent one-liners. The story was this game's actually about the uh, trials and tribulations and the fall of mankind after the invention of the Oculus Rift. <laughs> and I am uh, an ant. Yeah, apparently. Or it's actually no, a game about Ant Man. <laughs> no, you're Arietti. Or you're just very uh, drunk I, and you didn't. I was on the yep. ground. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Apparently, you get like severely motion sick with one of those things on, and you just end up like. Going on this like crazy bender, and then you wake up on the floor because just a nice, gravity. just a nice mix of motion sickness and pink eye. Yes. All right, so here we are. There's the device we were looking at. There's my helm. So we were. Hello, friend. So we were in Oculus Rift mode. I'm gonna put this over here. Get out of my way. So while you had the helmet on, do. you went on turbo gardening mode, and then proceeded to build a house around that table and the weird device. Yeah. I I'm normal. Don't worry about it. It's I, cool. I mean, so you can just pick things up. Like most games, but you also you can hit E to add it to your inventory. 
Can so you, you can just, actually like just accumulate objects that are just like in an invisible space on your character? Is there like a... Is there a limit? And I'm aware there's a knife here, so I'll just grab- Look at that dangerous looking knife, by the way. Keith, is there a That's limit? Normal. Please, please tell me there's a limit to the amount of things you can pick up. I think it's like six things. Jeez, that is a dangerous looking knife. Okay, I was kind of hoping yep. you could just keep adding stuff so you eventually just loot your entire house. There's just <laughs> desolate, nothing left. So here is something eye-catching. Hello, stranger. Just gonna, you know, uh, lobotomize you. That's normal. <laughs> oh boy. We're fine. You, she you don't looks, need your head, it's over there now. She looks special. And now your boobs are mine. Uh, Keith? Now they're on the floor. Oh god. Yeah. And now I've got your brain. Keith, I think I don't know what to do with it, though. Uh, well, th yep, those are... Keith, I, I guess think you, you should stop... These. I think you should stop dissecting robot women. I don't think... I don't think it's, uh... I don't think that's particularly kosher. Stop... Stop fondling those... Everythings. Message on display. Lid open. That's a rice cooker. What are no you talking flour about? No flour in the phytocopier. So they want flowers for this thing, which I think is what's going on with this, this stuff? I'm not really sure. There's weird... That is absolutely... Weird preserved flowers everywhere. That's absolutely a rice cooker. It does look like a rice cooker. <laughs> so we have a kettle. We have a weird... We have conspicuously an axe that I can't interact with. I mean... Which seems kind of handy. It's got a probably so, though. It's probably so you can't, like, later. just go in and start braining robo-woman with it. That's a nice and axe, just though. Sit... Like, yeah, it is. Like, the, the etching axe. on it is wonderful. <laughs> So you can sit here and just start going through everything, basically. Yeah, I'm impressed with the amount of stuff. I just dropped stuff. that. <laughs> I'm impressed with the amount of stuff you can uh, interact with, though. There's, like, all sorts of things. I actually didn't think you could uh, pick up that cup. It didn't break, Interestingly, you can walk so in there's, here. There's that. You can actually read... Like, there's papers that are, like, lining these these uh, drawers. They're actually pieces like advertisements and stories and things. The same body as yours, only young, 20, even 40 years younger, any age you wish, in fact. With a genome that's either identical to yours or modified. Long story short, we'll be making a clone, only somebody will need to take over it afterwards, transferring the consciousness to it. How will it be done? Consciousness transfer is precisely the field of research undertaken by Project Transhuman. And like, every drawer in this building ha is, like, lined with with articles that the person in the world probably doesn't give a shit about, but we can get a weird background of the world that this takes place in if we sit there and read them all for hours. That's kind of neat, let's start though. The, let's start with the important thing, though. Oh, there's a walk. You have a walk. Yep. Tabaha. I got fat, and now I smell bad. Turn off your nose and don't look at me. So we're clearly talking about the robot over there. I didn't say goodbye to Anguts. I waited for him all day, but he didn't return. Please feed him and charge him, lest he get sick. Follow this recipe. Heat the red pot. Add a glass of water. Add a few cl uh, cut plum olive fruits. There are plenty of them by the lake. Add dried root, but don't forget to grind it. Add salt and water that will turn orange. Uh, return the salt jar to its place. Right of the pepper, as Grandpa uh, Batjin instructed. C cook it until it's done. Angots will show up as soon as he smells food. You can sell all the stuff you like, and toss the body in the river. It won't be coming back. I won't be coming back. Anabish. Toss the body in the river. It's a hell of a way to end that that note, isn't it? It's probably, you know, toss the robot in the river. But it could be wrong. Yeah. But I think that thing's gonna wake up, because I'm pretty sure it's on the cover. Yeah. I, th I think. So we need, to, we, need to do a, we need to do some cooking, and this is the part of the game that I've had some experience with, because I had difficulties <laughs> with it. So I can... I can Why? help us along with this part a bit. I'm not gonna lie, this seems yeah. wildly just like unnecessary for somebody trying to um No, I dropped it. Deal with the robot. It does it. Go on the table. Eh. <laughs> there, it's on the table. I'm a professional. No. Uh <laughs> You're a true professional. <laughs> so when I got the first time I tried to do this, I went outside looking for firewood. And it's right here. I felt like a, I felt like the worst person. <laughs> God damn it! I mean, it kind of makes sense. Lighter. Yeah, Re reasonably enough. Oops. It makes sense, but I'm an idiot. <laughs> there, we're boiling water, like adults. Yeah. Right, so now we need plum olive fruits. I can do this. 
just gonna grab you real quick. All right, now drink the boiling me. water and uh, die a yeah. painful death. Scalding water, good for yeah. digestion, bad yes. for everything else. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this box with me for a moment. So another mistake I made playing this game earlier. Uh, <laughs> I was like, let's go to this lake for the plum olive fruit. So I'm like, well, that's a river, so that must be the lake down there. I ran down that river for like a mile. Oops. There's no lake. <laughs> this these little bodies of water are what the game means are a to call a lake. But I have a use for having a box with me. You know, this game looked we're, a lot nicer we're... in the trailer. Yeah. It's hey, like friends. it was nice and colorful, and that was just Jim. kind of this, like, gray-green. Oh. It is desaturated, but if you look over here, the game's supposed to take place in a carnival. You can kind of see the big gr big red carnival type thing over there. So I think it's going to be a bit more interesting when we get there, perhaps. Yeah. I saw, like, a really cool get these fruit out of the tree. a while back. Did I get one? I got one. Way to go, me. We need two, according to the note. There we go. So you actually did need to hit it down with the with the box. That's yeah. Kind I could also of like silly. jump up, I think, and kind of hit them. Oh yeah, I grabbed one. Now I have three. Like there's like one that's in jumping distance. So I just I, I originally I jumped oh, up, wow, grabbed one. Oh wow, you have like one floaty ass jump. And then I threw the other one up in the air to hit another one out of the tree. <laughs> is what I did originally. Just gonna leave that box there. Don't feel like carrying it around anymore. <laughs> I'm sure it's not important. It. It's just my. It's just my personal belongings. You just open it up and it's like your, um, your antihistamines. Yeah. You know, the things that keep it's you alive. The, it's, a, it's actually the brain of the robot. Oh. Whoops. That's the whole reason I won't wake up. <laughs> Parkour, hardcore. You know, this game has a yeah. oddly, uh, uh, did you ever play it's Enslaved Odyssey roots. of the, uh, Enslaved I Odyssey the of the demo. West? Ah. Uh, Cause this has kind of like a weird feel, similar feeling. Can you, can you eat? Huh? Things is your character capable of like consumption? Uh, I don't think so. Huh. So the main issue I've run into this game so far is that I don't have an easy way to like place stuff on tables. I walk up to the table till my hitbox hits it. Oh, well, yeah, then I try you're, to drop it. You're like morbidly obese. Falls off. Your your hitbox is what? like out of control. Like it's 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 weirdly hard to drop stuff on a table unless you're like pushing yourself forward at that exact moment. I like think this. what you should do yeah. is uh, run forward and uh, then let it go. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. It's more or less how to get through here. That one's perfectly upright. <laughs> there, oh, wow, physics. Okay. Let's get our knife. Because we're... Now it's cooking with Seabus. Oh, Wait. God, knife. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Come back here, I need you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you... <laughs> ten, ten minute rule? <laughs> ten minute rule. Took, we're good. Took, we're good. Took a little bit for uh, my end to catch up with the knife freaking out like that. That was glorious. <laughs> so right click and do bad things to you in this game. So we're about to meet the mortar and pestle, which is what I needed to to grind up the root. Unfortunately, I did this on accident with the mortar and pestle. <laughs> like I threw it, but it physicsed out and bounced around the room. I never found it again. Oh no! Is so that I had where to start it stopped the game you? over from scratch if I wanted to play because I couldn't wow. find the mortar and pestle at that point. Which, by the way, they stash over here. Let's see. Let's put you away somewhere else. Gotta be orderly, I live here. <laughs> Hello. I mean, it was not very orderly to begin with. Yeah. I mean, everything's in its place. I had a commenter talking about, I, I was talking to him about how I got completely lost the first time I played this, trying to find things. And he said he lives in this kind of region and like the, the house layout made perfect sense to him. Wait, really? Did I just drop it and it exploded? Where's... Where'd it go? It's directly beneath you on the paper. Oh shit, there it is. It, that stuff blends. It really does. <laughs> it's kind of my complaint about things being super gray. It's like drop there's you? some nice color in here. Drop but, you. Oof. There we go. Yeah, I'm hoping the, the game afterwards isn't as interactive intensive with these objects because it's a little I've, iffy so far. I feel like somebody was just like... Grinded the shit out of that stuff. Alright. Get back that, up there. That's not a... <laughs> That's the <laughs> pestle, really? Yeah. Huh. We got this. It's cool. I there, now, there's, now, <laughs> now, there's, now we got root noodles. It's cool. How did you? How do? That doesn't even make <laughs> sense. It took me a while, you know. It took me a Wait, while to figure out. There's now like we need three to add noodles the in that jar. pot. That doesn't even make sense. 
I mean, it's their roots. Yeah, I know, but like, there looked to the, be a hell of a lot more when you had it in the pestle. All right, so that's th this is the first I've ever gotten. So now we have to actually think about stuff. We have. We need to add salt. The salt jars to the right of the pepper. Okay. The fuck I is the pepper? It's near the food stuff. There's was that tiny white crystals could be citric acid. Could be. You li don't you live here? <laughs> don't you know what's here? Uh, those are not in English. I can't. I don't get a reading prompt really. This would be Salt so much pepper. easier if it was keyed for what we're doing. Oh, what are I those? I like the. Uh, this is obviously not like Russian or whatever, but the the writing in this game actually is really pretty. I yeah, wish I recognized so the uh, foreign language, admittedly. Uh, this might be a clue. Over here. The sponge? Hello. Looks, it looks, I don't know, Tibetan maybe? Yeah. I don't know very much about cultures. I'm, I'm pretty useless. Uh. So yeah, there's salt and pepper somewhere around here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I could see also, like, Nepalese, but I'm... Oh I, yeah, this, might be, this this game might be in Nepal. Or uh, I'm forgetting. I mean, they live in a yurt, so all of them kind of work. Plum olive juice. If I have the juice already, why do I need to collect the plum olives? That seems like enough. To the right of the pepper is one of these salt. I'll just pick these up one at a time and try them. Let's see, uh, I see a lot of people complaining about. Is there a walkthrough? Voice just, dialogue. Uh, Jesus that, Christ! That there's a like lot pepper. of. Oh, whoopsie. Mistakes were made. <laughs> It'll deal with it. Get it up there. Yeah. Now. Batteries. Flowers. Are you salt? What are any of these things? Uh. Can't, can't <laughs> use. This is this is a game, apparently. They, they all <laughs> just sound like the same thing. Salt jars to the right of the paper. Uh. Uh. This is not how you cook, kids, by the way. You don't just add everything until one of them works. Wait, Keith. It, uh, if and when we get the apartment together, we should uh, totally just cook this. Oh, no. In the ex is plum like olive a real fruit? Um, I don't know. Oopsie. Threw that one instead of using it. I'm just going to look for salt. Okay, to the right of pepper <laughs> jar. One of the... I think you just missed or something, but it's one of those... <laughs> Those boxes that you have now littered all over the place. You know what? Process of elimination. <laughs> stick your hand in the fire. Just gonna stick them all in there one by one and throw them over there. Oh, that looks right. So I must have dropped that one somehow earlier. You go in there. Oh yeah, there you go. This is actually you got it. A professional footballer's. Uh, <laughs> oops. Enjoying the Tibetan <laughs> nice football shot. team. I mean basketball team. There we go. Get in close. There we go. No one will ever notice the mess. <laughs> oh, uh, no I can never know. I, I'm not going to bring this up too much, but chat really wants you to put some of these bottles in the soup. Just in the soup. In the soup. Like the cleaner. Yeah. Throw the bleach in. Throw the bleach in. I can't pick it up. Apparently, <laughs> I can't pick it up. Throw the bleach in. Oh no! I, I knocked it over. Oh god, I'm picking up on bare hands. <laughs> okay. There we go. Uh, what's my objective? Bring on guts her breakfast. His breakfast. His breakfast. Your hands are like on searing guts. off. Um, I... Don't know. Hey. I Buddy, I love I love you. I think you should go outside. <laughs> just, just go Oh, to... hey. Is that on guts? Okay. Sup? Uh... Eat it. Is he just le- Go get the knife! Get the back? knife! Get the knife! Is he gonna land? Oh, that's what that little perch is for. Hello. I put you here. All are that we, word- All that work to we, cook for a bird? Why are we making salt- Uh, fruit salt stew? It didn't Holy even land crap, on the he's big. perch. Yeah, he is huge. Why did we make are, a? Are you, fruit gonna, are you about salt to? Are you gonna? Stew? Are you gonna save the hobbits? I guess so. God, those are small hobbits. You should wait for it to to cool. 
He's got a sweet ass uh, harness on though. Like yeah, I like that. He's my he's my battle hawk. He's my tomahawk. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right, new task. Repl was it replace Angot's vest? The eagle cannot speak, but may still ha be of use to you. Change him. <laughs> Do I take his vest off? You take his vest off and you just start shitting all over you. Just like, no, this is the Ew. worst. Oh my god. There's a reveal. Okay. I can. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Oh god. Well, I guess he's not going to be shitting <laughs> on you. The delayed reaction. The delayed reaction you get is amazing. <laughs> it really is. Delay. That's wow. Okay. That's cool though. What am I looking at, first of all? That would explain it. why it's so big. <laughs> Yeah, because it's crazy robo. Okay, 2053. Not gonna lie, if I was so gonna I to, make something- I need some, to replace it. If I was gonna make something like this, I probably wouldn't leave a giant gaping hole Dude. in the middle of its chest. Yeah, that's a little weird. Alright, so I need to replace it, his vest. Uh, <laughs> we'll use the VR helmet. <laughs> <laughs> It's probably outside, all things considered. You have a number of yeah, sheds and oh, stuff. Wait. wait, found it. Aha! Discovery were, was made, and now it's in my inventory. Suck it, it's mine now. Oh yeah? No. I'm sorry. Here oh, you go, Ongots, I love you. This is a much nicer vest, too. Look at it. It's got like a kind of almost crystally thing in the center. Oh, weird. That's why there's a hole in the middle. Oh, it's so got a chest window. Why? <laughs> I want to stare at your innards, bird. Whoa. So we we feed our robot bird? The yeah. vest has some numbers on it. All right, let's go find the numbers on the vest then. Well, I mean, you got to recharge maybe those a, batteries maybe that was a message. somehow. <laughs> the eagle is appreciative that you did not, in fact, add bleach to the soup. I think I Dude, know what 2053 is for, actually, because last time I played, go ahead and put this in my inventory, there was this little iPad here. Read the entries? Yes. Enter password. It's probably 20 asterisk asterisk, because it's probably the 2053 that we just found. 53. Yeah! Nice! So it's the code on the, uh, bird. Good to know. That's a bizarre place to put your password. Maybe that's why we got the password like, from the bird. shit, I forgot the password. Alright, gotta go catch the eagle. Fuck, <laughs> how do I do that? <laughs> It's my eagle password. I keep it on all my eagles. Uh, I've got a journal now. Thanks, Tabaha. My name is Anabish. I've always lived here because I can't go anywhere else. Grandpa, ba ba Grandpa Batjin says lots of people used to live around here, but they all died when, they, when the dome blew up. The area has been deserted ever since. Aside from myself, Batjin and Angus. Angus has got very powerful claws. He obeyed my father and helped him hurt hair, hunt hares. I don't remember my parents. They died in the explosion as well. When the wind picks up, it gets pretty chilly. You can find refuge from it, but not for long. You, can, you can't last long without light. That's why I crafted this transparent layer vest. Like in that program about greenhouses, it keeps Angots warm during the day, and when the night's chill arrives, I put him into another warm vest. I collect and digitize flowers. I look for the prettiest ones and make photo photocopies of them. Tapa takes them into the town and sells them. The earnings keep him a afloat, while Grandpa and I buy cheese. We've got a new genometer. Genometer? It measures everything. Flowers, insects, people. It clocked Batjin at 47, and the tree by the gate at 24. Even the stool got measured, though that took a little longer. But we aimed at Ongots. We but we aimed at Ongots or myself. It still shows the same old error. Grandpa says it's all providence. Maybe he's right. I have this dream sometimes. I'm in a strange city. The day is waning. Folks are walking in the distance. There's something, somebody besides me, and I don't see who. The dream is fleeting, always leaving me with a strange sensation, like I'm supposed to pass something to somebody, but I can't. I can never remember what to, or to whom. I finally, I feel some kind of mix of anxiety and chagrin, and it makes me want to go there, to that town. It's a long journal. <laughs> Grandpa Batjen has died. 
He wanted to do a transfer after losing his sight and mobility. Tabaha even brought him equipment, but Grandpa died in his sleep. He was buried at the spot he had requested. Tomorrow marks the four-year anniversary of Grandpa's funeral, which means I'm already 23. Everything is still the same. I tried leaving again, but no dice. I simply lose consciousness like before. I want to find that town for my dream. Perhaps I'll risk it and do a transfer. Grandpa's got no use for his helmet these days, but I, I might. I might. If I get lucky, I'll wake up in a new body in Old Ben Bator. Too bad the genometer won't show my number. I know how dangerous it is. When I look up at the poster over my bed, for some reason I remember my toys. When I was a kid, maybe five or so, I had a favorite toy, an odd little space case. Angots had found it somewhere and brought it to me. Then I saw dark swirls in the field, got scared, and stashed the toys away for some reason. And to make sure I didn't forget the hiding space, I came up with a clue. Come out of the yurt and fly straight as the crow. On a rock with a snag, look for an arrow. A sorrowful tree will show you the way. A box in the sand will be a mystery, will a mystery betray. But now I can't find it. Well, that sounds like an objective to me. Yep. We've got more clues to follow. So, first, so th th first objective was make soup. Second was go find toys when you were, like, four. Your character has yeah, an interesting sense important. of priority. It's like, toys are really important. Her head's gone. Yay. <laughs> Never not weird.